Coach Mandy and this is Altered Self Wellness and I am extremely excited to introduce my guest today. Her name is Lisa Kotler and she is going to share some of her experience with wellness and her personal journey through wellness. Um, I guess what you need to know about Lisa is that she is a passionate mother and wife. She is fitness certified, has been for a while. Mm -hmm. She is a self-taught artist and she has run a small business. I'm a jack of all trades. I'm mm -hmm. also a cosmetologist. Cosmetologist. And she is also the owner and creator of Jewels by Paige, which you can find on Facebook and I will leave a link. But I'm gonna ask her a few questions and we're gonna get the tidbits from her. Also, I do alterations, but I'm moving so it won't benefit anybody locally. <laughs> Tell, tell us what has been a hurdle in, towards your journey for wellness. Uh, the biggest hurdle has been dealing with the pain in my hip. Mm -hmm. I have found um, natural methods because I don't care for medication. I don't do well with medication. It makes me sick to my stomach. I don't like feeling like I'm not who I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Even though people say you become more creative when you're taking pain pills? No. <laughs> Not in my case either. <laughs> I've used all sorts of alternative methods which have helped. Um, you have helped tremendously. Mm -hmm. I have taken a lot of what you have given me even though you probably don't think it's much and implemented it in my life, my daily life, mm -hmm. in my mind. One of the natural methods that I found for my hip that is absolutely incredible and I think I had talked to you about it and asked your opinion on it, and you said, yes, 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 is the turmeric. Yes. And I do two things. I do one of what you suggested, which was the capsules, mm -hmm. and I also seep my own. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I make tea. Are you comfortable talking about, because um, I know that you personally struggle with ADHD, <laughs> and... Really? Yeah. Are you comfortable going so. there? Yeah. Are you comfortable going there and talking yes. about what, how that has um, been of a course. hurdle? Okay. Yeah, because if I can help someone else work through it, mm -hmm. then I've done something else good in my life. Mm -hmm. And you are. I mean, you do have a beautiful life, and you do have ADHD, and somehow, um, I believe that you set it up so that you can work with yourself. I did not know I was ADHD until about three years after I had my son, and he was, let's see, he was about three, and he is 15, going to be 15 now, so I've been dealing with it. I think I've had it my whole life, I just didn't, I don't believe that there's a, an adult onset ADHD. I think you have it, and this is why kids like struggle in school. I struggled in school until my high school years and then I became a much better student but I was managing things. I learned how to manage my my learning quote-unquote disability. Like the struggle was that it was difficult to focus or? Oh, extremely. Extremely uh -huh. difficult to focus. I would get in school and I would be like, <laughs> Yeah. And I, but as much as I wanted to process it, some of it comes with maturity. There's a process I think that your brain goes through and you seem to be a little more behind than most kids in maturity and I definitely was until I was in high school. I, my son has it too and I see watching him has opened up my eyes mm -hmm. to seeing what I can do to help him versus there was nobody to help me because right. back then it just, it was null and void, it just wasn't there. Right. And I mean what better person than, than you? I mean, because you have lived with it and you do have solutions, whether we consciously are thinking of the solutions, like we find solutions for ways to manage, right? We do. That's kind of been, so you have hip pain, um, you had a recent surgery mm -hmm. and that put a, a damper in your fitness and, and that's a big part of how you live well, I know that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you live with ADHD and you just make the most of it. I found an outlet with my ADHD. Um, ADHD people tend to be very athletic. Uh, they tend to be very creative. I didn't find out how, I knew I was creative when I was young, but I really, the artist thing didn't 
smacked me in the head until I moved here 16 years ago. Uh, even though I was a cosmetologist in Cincinnati and I was creative that way, I had no idea that I could paint or draw or um, do metal smithing or sewing or I mean there's pretty much nothing I can't do. Would you say that art is a way that you... That's my outlet. That's my outlet for my pain. That's my outlet for when my brain starts going <laughs> which is pretty much 99.9 percent .9 of the time. Wow. It's I'm always on overdrive. I could be in the middle of working on a project and last night mm -hmm. here's a really good example last night we're packing because we're moving to Florida. Yay! So I, we were packing last night and uh, my son is away in Fairbanks at a soccer, his state, state uh, soccer tournament ship. And I made some tea that I was going to drink, which is another tea that's absolutely wonderful, dandelion tea. I don't I'm know. Try this. Have you tried it? Well, I, I juice dandelion greens. Oh, the dandelion tea is amazing, yeah, what it does for your body. But I was making some dandelion tea, and then my husband said, you need to go clean your car out because we sold my car. And so I went to clean my car out, and then I got involved back in my studio trying to pack up stuff, and then, I don't know, I was doing something else, and my husband went in the house, and he came back out, and he goes, oh my gosh, your ADHD is in, like, full rocket right now. Your tea is still sitting there after mm -hmm. hours of sitting there. And that's what happens to me. Yeah. I, it's, if you could see in my brain what I feel like, I feel like a bouncing bunny. Boing, 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 boing. What, um, let's just talk about all the things you do t to support your wellness. Yeah. I, I um, do yoga mm -hmm. at least four to five times a week, if not more, if I can. Mm -hmm. I would do it two times a day if I had time. Uh, it has helped with my hip tremendously. What brings you joy? Uh, my son, mm -hmm. my husband, um, finishing something, a piece of, of artwork that I've done, whether it's my jewelry or painting or sewing, um, with, with my business, my hemlines, a customer that says to me, which just happened two weeks ago, I can't believe you're moving to Florida. Can I ship my clothes to you? Oh. That kind of stuff just rings to me that that's what I was meant to do. What do you do for self-care? I get up, um, I do yoga, and um, there's some wonderful yoga places here. There's uh, Tides with Sanya, and uh, there's the other place that I go to is um, the Yurt with Amber, and I care of my dogs. I'll do some artwork. Right now I'm not working because it's very difficult for me to sit in a straight up chair because of the impingement in my hip. What advice would you give someone who is trying to create a beautiful life for themselves and struggling with ADHD or chronic pain? Just be self-awareness. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so important and a positive attitude. Um, setting intentions, even if it's once a week or every day, taking that time for you. I go in my closet. I have a walk-in closet. I shut. I go in. I sit on the floor, <laughs> and I try to meditate in there. I've had some pretty incredible things happen to me just lately that ring in my mind truth to um, setting intentions attitude, laws of attraction, it all comes together and it's happening to me right now because we're moving and it's something that we all wanted to do but as soon as my son had an opportunity with a AAA hockey team in Florida and he made that team and then it just trickled, the whole thing just trickled. My husband was ready to get up and say let's just go and everything's falling into place and all of this was me setting the intention I feel like in my heart. This is what I wanted mm -hmm. for my family. I wanted growth, I want opportunity. I want my son to be able to have every opportunity that I didn't have. My heart rings true with that also. I want every opportunity for my daughter. I, I want you to know, I do learn from you too. Like I, I'm not kidding you. Yesterday I was um, overwhelmed and um, in my bedroom and I remember you saying that you go in your closet I just kind of wanted to hide, so I just went in my closet and I just did it. And I was like, that is you. 
It's a silly thing to do, but... It felt like a safe place to just kind of fall is. apart for a minute. <laughs> I go in there, I shut the doors, and mm -hmm. I... And it's big. I mean, it's the size yeah. of a... Half of a bedroom, but... Yeah. It's almost noise-proof in there because you've got all your clothes and your yeah. belongings in there, and so you can't really hear anything on the outside, and they yeah. can't hear you. Yeah. I know that health and wellness has always been impo important to you, or it's just been a part of how you how you live your life. And I did a yoga class with you, and, and I'm so glad you were there. Uh, what are your favorite exercises? What is your favorite movement? I used to teach kickboxing, and that was one-on-one, -on -one, mid training, bag kickboxing, which is um, sure attributed to a lot of my injuries that I have in my shoulder and my wrists. That was my favorite thing. I can't do it anymore. But I will tell you that I also taught uh, Bozu, core Bozu, and without a doubt, Bozu, any type of core exercise, Pilates, is the key to having a healthy body. Mm -hmm. Because if this is not there, then everything starts falling apart. It also helps having a husband that's a podiatrist because he, he knows and we all think that when our knees hurt we go to see an orthopedist because our knees hurt and then only to find out they can't help us. They've tried everything. What's the problem? And then you go see a foot doctor and here all you need it were some inserts after you spent all this money oh, and all this time. A lot. Yeah. Because it starts at the feet. I mean, our feet are like our base. They are our base. Our, they, our... And I think that people lose sight of that because their hips hurt or their knees hurt. And maybe there is something like with you with your hip dysplasia, but you can also do inserts to I have help to, yeah. with that hip dysplasia. So, yes, it does start in the feet. You're right. I resisted getting amazing shoes for years, and when I did, it was, I mean, it just made a big difference. They may not be or so pretty, hands. but. It's the girl that wears the shoes, not the shoes that wears the girl. I remember that. I like that. So you're getting ready to move, and what? Actually, let's go back to Jewels by Page. Or, do you sell your paintings on there too, or is it just your jewelry? Not yet. Um, painting was something that started about three years ago, three four years ago. Drawing started first because I was bored and I just needed to calm myself down. And it really kind of started with my son because when he was you know, the schools here, they, they um, implement a lot of artwork in some of their projects. So when my son went to Kaleidoscope, he had a lot of artwork to do, and that kind of started interesting me in the drawing, and then... So that's how it began. That's, that's how that's you began really, teaching um, yourself. The jewelry, though, started with my niece about 15 years ago when I first moved away, because I was looking for something to occupy my time, and then my husband bought me a sewing machine, and that's where yeah. I... New. I, I mean, I can sew without taking a class, and right. and I think we all have some type of gift. We just have to kind of figure it out. Yeah. You, you have to try everything. Um, painting, though, is I love doing jewelry and I love sewing, but painting, there's something about um, the painting that takes me away. It's often. It's my drug. It's therapeutic for you. It it is and. I um, prefer to do abstract, I prefer to do mixed media, I don't really care for oil, I love acrylic. Um, yeah. I can tell you anything you want to know about mixed media, just save everything in your house, everything. <laughs> because Let's say we show them your art and then they, what if they want to buy it? What if someone wants to get a hold of you? They can call me. They can call you. My number is not changing and I will be shipping and I do have several people that do want my artwork. They're waiting. Um, one of the pictures I have here is very special to me. This is created for um, Indy Walton, and Indy was my son's last hockey coach who brought the love of hockey back to my son. Indy was able to really see the worthiness in Seth and his skating, and um, Seth was captain of his team. He had an incredible year. He had goals every single one of his games. And um, so Indy really supported him. He did. He was the biggest, big, biggest thing. Indy works, um, and he's a financial advisor in the winter, but in the summer, he and his family have this incredible commercial fishing business that they love. And fishing is Indy's life. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to create a picture from him that re represented who I am but yet represented 
who he is and his family. Yeah. And um, I wanted to do what my favorite things were in painting and bring that into the picture without it looking too girly yeah. that he could put in his office or he can put in his home. How important is nutrition to maintaining a wellness for yourself? Very. Okay. You're good. Very, because I know myself, and I think we ignore it. When you eat garbage, you feel garbage. And I know the difference when um, I eat sugar or anything that is really over-processed. I mean, hands down, I love ice cream. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make me feel so good. And I love chips. My biggest downfall is yeah, cheese. Biggest weaknesses. My biggest we weakness is cheese. Um, getting away from that was really difficult. But you will feel so much better. Yeah. And, and bread. I am a carboholic. You just have to do it in moderation. Mm -hmm. It's very important for your body. You will see a difference in how you feel. And I've learned from you about um, the inflammation. Mm -hmm. It's huge. And so I've done a lot of research on that. And vegetables, so good. So good. Right? So good. The one last thing I want to talk about, and we are going to show you guys some amazing, um, not just paintings, but some of her jewels. And so the one last thing is, I know that you and I have worked with a lot of thought work, and, and, and this is an important aspect to your overall health. How has that been for you? Well, my thought work is in intentions and visions and... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Trying to, I've always told my son who, your children are the first to lose their confidence in themselves when something bad happens. Mm -hmm. And mothers, for some reason, are the first to feel like they got a wrench shoved in their side when something like that happens. Right. And trying to help your child get through that is really, really difficult. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. I love that you're talking about mom guilt because this is a real thing. Like the desire to be everything we possibly can for our kids is something that all of us are trying to do and struggling with, you know, for the most part. Um, there's just not many, many of us out there that this isn't a part of our story constantly. Well, your children are a part of who you become Absolutely. because they're a reflection of who you are. Mm -hmm. and. It's full circle. So what you've learned, it's our job to give to them, and hopefully they will take it and run. Sometimes they don't. They run the other direction. Yeah. You just have to go grab them. Yeah, grab them up. And grab them up and be on the path. <laughs> but teenagers, little kids, they, they all think they know everything. And mm -hmm. it's just a matter of letting them know that it's okay that they feel that they know everything, but we can help guide them to see where they need to go to sure. get to that everything. Experience sure makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Life experience equals wisdom. It uh, does. And insight. Okay. I'm about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we're waiting